Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Leo Daughtry and Peg O'Connell. It's being hailed as the final end of HB2. A federal judge approved the settlement agreement between the governor and the LGBT groups that says state agencies and universities cannot ban transgender people from using the bathroom of the gender with which they identify. Now, this applies only to public restrooms and facilities in straight government buildings. Does it truly end HB2, and is it a good settlement, Leo? I hope so. I've had enough of HB2. Everybody in North Carolina has had enough of HB2. It's the, almost like we're walking around yeah, with... with uh, and it lasted so long. The issue, though, is the defendants and the plaintiffs are all good friends and easily can come up with a settlement that suits them. I think that our days of uh, HB2 and the fight about bathrooms are pretty much behind us. I don't think anybody's going to raise the issue again, although they could. We can hope you're right. Peg, you agree? Um, yeah, I think it was as good a deal as they could, everybody, making everybody as uh, comfortable as they can be and still a little unhappy. That's always a good sign of a settlement. The one thing, issue that's still hanging out there, though, is this issue of preemption and how the legislature in the remaining portion of HB2, and it was not repealed by HB 142 was the preemption of local governments um, in passing less restrictive um, bills regarding this subject. Uh, so that's still there. So until the end of 2020, um, local governments cannot take a more progressive stand than this. And this settlement didn't change It didn't that. change that. That's just, that's the one issue that's remaining out there. By the time people get around to negotiating all that, the time on it will be expired. And then I think then, as Leo says, let's hope this is the end of this. It was a bad chapter. It was a stupid thing in the first place. And it's just, it's time for it to be I done. I mean, anywhere you went in America, if, you found, if people found out you were from North Carolina, they wouldn't talk to you about HB2. Well, and you know, sadly, there's other things that, I mean, that's the kind of stuff that people remember about North Carolina. I mean, they can't figure out if we actually, Charlotte's actually in North Carolina or South Carolina. But when you say, oh, you're from the, that's what they say, you're from the bathroom state. Yeah. <laughs> the great state of Mecklenburg. Yes. Yes, okay. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.